Welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this makeup tutorial for you. Uh, I used all the eyeshadows from the Chocolate Bar Palette. I just recently picked it up and I absolutely love it. So if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. So starting off this makeup look, I already primed my face with the Smashbox Primer and then I'm taking my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I'm adding the Stila Bronzer in with my foundation because it's just not quite matching my neck and I'm just blending it in with my F80 Kabuki brush. And for concealer, I'm taking this CoverGirl Deep Puffer Concealer in the color Fair and I'm just putting it on all the areas that I'd like to be highlighted and any areas I need to do a little bit of concealing. So that would be under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, like usual. And then I'm going to be blending it in with a dampened beauty blender. To set all of the concealer, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to be taking the Banana Shade and just putting it on all the areas that I put the concealer. Then taking my Makeup Forever HD Powder, I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush and I am going to be putting that all over for the rest of my face, everywhere I put the foundation. And for bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Bronzer in Medium Deep and I'm just going to be bronzing up the skin, not so much contouring because I'm going to be using the Kat Von D palette for that. But I'm just going to be bronzing up the face, so by my cheekbones, around my forehead because I have a 12 head, and then underneath my chin. Moving right along into the eyes, I'm taking a light brown shade on a big fluffy blending brush and this is going to be my transition shade. It's just a light brown color and I'm just going to be blending this in my crease and above my crease. And then I realized I didn't have my 217 brush, my blending brush, but don't worry, I got it. So, then taking a darker brown shade, this is a pretty dark color, and I'm only going to be focusing this on the outer V and just a little bit into the crease, and I'm just going to be doing a lot of blending. And to blend this color out, I'm just taking a more orangish uh, shade from that same palette, and I'm going to be blending that into the transition shade with another fluffy brush. Picking up this darker cranberry color, I'm going to be putting this on a more dense, fluffy brush, I guess. And I'm going to be focusing this on the outer corner and more into the crease than any of the other colors. And then going back into my blending brush and just blending away the harsh edges. And then taking the matte, light, creamy color, I'm just going to be using this to highlight my brow bone. Then for my lids, I'm going to be taking this champagne -y color with a little bit of pink in it. I'm going to be putting this on my eyelids and in my inner tear ducts. And when I am done placing this color where I want, I just go back in with that denser blending brush with a little bit of that cherry, or not cherry, cranberry color on it to blend it away. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the two darker colors on the very out side of my eyes and then the light brown and just in the inside and then for eyeliner I'm gonna be taking this LA splash uh, liquid eyeliner and I absolutely love this eyeliner this is the first time I had used it and it was so easy to use and it was so black and it was just so perfect I definitely recommend it Then going into contouring, I'm taking my Kat Von D again and I'm just taking the color on the left hand side and I'm just going to be chiseling out my cheekbones because we all know that I love a very contoured face. And then I'm just going to be doing it around my hairline, also underneath my chin and on the sides of my nose, but I do my nose later. And then taking my favorite blush at the moment, it is the Dallas Blush by Benefit and just putting this on my cheekbones and bringing it up and back to my temples. And then taking my MAC Mineralized Finished Skin Finish in Perfect Topping, I'm just going to be highlighting the high points of my face, so on the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my my nose. Then for mascara, I'm using my Clinique little sample of mascara and I'm just putting this on my top and bottom lash lines and then, or not lash lines, lashes, and then picking up these Lotus lashes in the number 504. They are so gorgeous. This has to be one of my new favorite pairs of lashes. Uh, I do have a coupon code for you and I will link that down below. And then for my lips, I just took a red lip liner by, uh, what is this? I think it's Wet n Wild. And then I'm going to be taking my 
uh, red lipstick in the color, I don't really know what it's called actually, I'll link it down below, but it is by LA Splash Cosmetics. It's one of those liquid lipsticks and this is one of like the best formulated lips liquid lipsticks I have ever tried and I've tried a bunch of different brands and this is one of the best. Then cleaning off my teeth and then here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I put up new videos every single week. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. See ya!